your neighbor. Say, you look so beautiful this morning. And you look much more beautiful when you put a smile on that face. Tell your neighbor, put a smile on your face. Put a smile on your face. Put a smile on your face. Hallelujah. Now, it's good to be a child of God. Amen. Tell your neighbor you have done a good thing to be in the house of the Lord. You have done a good thing to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Our father wrote a book and it says, what do people expect when they come to church? Amen. Now, when you come to church, you expect revival. When you come to church, you expect renewal. When you come to church, you know, you expect your, your spirit to be uplifted. You, you expect everything inside out from your body to the outside, from the spirit man. You expect everything to be touched by God. Amen. Now, when you are expectant of something, you will receive something. Amen. Every time when you are expected, you know, expectant is a breeding ground of the miraculous. When you expect God to touch your life, he will touch your life. Tell your neighbor, know your area. Know your area. I want you to tell them, play your number. Play your number. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when you play your number in the house of the Lord, you know, the house of the Lord, we will win in the house of the Lord. I always give an example of a soccer team. I told the leaders I'm a soccer fan. <laughs> I'm a I grew up between boys only. And, and then my younger sister came, came later. So, so my brothers, they, are, they, they love soccer. So I understand soccer so much. Now when you are in a soccer team, they are defenders, they are strikers, they are the goalkeepers. You know, and they are those middlemen. You know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But now the midfielders, eh? I'm a midfielders. Now every, every everyone in the soccer match they have to play their number you don't have to play someone's number when you are a goalkeeper you need to play the goalkeeper when you are a goalkeeper you don't need to play the striker this is a team eh? <laughs> So you need to play your number. And our father says, know your area. When you come to church, you just don't need to come and sit on the chairs. You know, so that the pastors will say, we were, we were 140. No one even knows you in the chair. You need to, you need to have something that you do in the house of the Lord. If you are a praise and worshiper, hallelujah. Play your number. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you ever, you know, noticed when uh, other people, if it's a wedding, I just see, uh, I, I don't know which name should I use. Okay, maybe so, uh, some name here, if there is some, someone called Sibongile here. I'm Sibongin. If you know, it, it said, it's Sister Sibongile's wedding. But oh, really? Hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody knows Sister Busibonyile. They identify her. That girl who interprets. She is playing her number. Now there is someone in the house. Maybe God has found favor on you. And now they are announcing your name. We want to announce the wedding of Sister Priska. And everybody will be like, Who is Sister Priska? Which one is Sister Priska? You know, people try to say, that one. The one who sits at the bed. You know, the one who doesn't talk about The one who is always quiet. Not in the house of the Lord. When you have come to church, it's time to work. Hallelujah. It's time to work. It's time to play your number. It's time to play your number. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether you are a defender, play your number. When you are a goalkeeper, play your number. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Without you, the team is not in. You know, the team cannot win without you. 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 We have seen it if uh, the team, someone is disqualified. You know, if the team is short, they cannot do well because of one one person who is disqualified. So I want you to tell your neighbor, don't get be disqualified in the kingdom of God. Don't be disqualified in the kingdom of God. Now when we are talking about the kingdom of God, we are all children in the kingdom of God. It's like the child of a king. When you are a child of a king, you know, no, no, you don't, you don't need any, you know what, you don't need any, any profile to be read for you. You don't need any intro, introduction. The moment the child of a king walks in there, he automatically knows that this is the child of a king. How do we know that this is the child of a king? We know them by the way they are walking. Ah, ah, ah. Tell your neighbor you don't need to look down upon yourself. You are a child of a king. You are a child of a king. You belong to the Lord who is our Father. Hallelujah. Amen. The child of a king, they just, the way they walk, <laughs> the way they carry themselves, even the way they talk, even the way they dress up, it shows that this is someone who is unique. Same to us as children of God. You don't need to walk whilst your head is on the side. You don't need to look down upon yourself. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, then God said, Let us make a man in our own image, according to our own likeness. Send your neighbor there. Tell you, I am the image of God. I am the image of God. Now, if you know that you are an image of God, you don't look down upon yourself. You don't feel pity upon yourself. You don't speak negative upon yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are always positive. Because even the earthly child of a king, he does not care where he is going to get his next meal. He doesn't care where he is going to get his clothes. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, Do not worry. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these go, things go, 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 shall be added unto you. Now when you are a child of Ma the king, king the king who is God who silver and gold belongs him, you don't need to worry what you are going to wear. You don't need to worry what you are going to eat. You don't need to worry about your life tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you seen the reason why people are struggling in life? It's because they worry so much. And you know why they worry? They worry about what people are going to say. Not what God is saying. But what other people. Hallelujah. Amen. You have you seen some people who worries. God created them dark and beautiful. But because of other people worrying about other people, they bleach themselves to become lighter. Yet God created them as dark and beautiful. Our 
father, he says in his books, when you came to church, you came alone. You, 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 you had your own background. But now when you were in the church, you started to compare yourself with your neighbor. You saw your neighbor is wearing beautiful shoes. You see your neighbor is wearing nice hair. You want to compare yourself with them. And you end up in, 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 in credits because of comparing yourself with someone whom you no, meet here. Tell your neighbor, I came alone. I came alone in this church. I came alone in this church. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You came alone in this church. And, but now you start to compare yourself with others. You compare yourself with other people. You know problems are different. You have your own problem. And they have their own problem. Why are you comparing yourself? Ah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the reason why people lose focus in church. They try to be so and so. When I was growing up, in grade one, there was this book that I like very much. That says, I am Farai. And you are Farisai. When you are Farisai. When you are Farisai. You will never be me. You will never be me. Tell your neighbor you will never be me. You will never be me. But other people, they are living other people's lives. You know, I said in my life, I don't, I'm not going to waste time to be someone else. God created me as I am. God created me as I am. Even if I have a big nose, and I have a big nose, God wanted it to be me like that. God wanted it to be me like that. Even if I have a small head, God wanted my head to be like I will never be like someone else. And those who go to us, we want to compare ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the reason why you want to be someone. You see someone singing like what he did. Then you want to sing as he did us. But you are you. And they, they are they. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you understand who you are in the kingdom of God, when you understand that you are a child of the king, the Bible says, my people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. The reason why some of us are suffering, it's because of lack of knowledge. If I have knowledge that my father, my father, Owns everything. <laughs> he says in his words, <laughs> Is there anything <laughs> that is too hard for <laughs> me? <laughs> and he says it in the book of James. <laughs> this is the confidence. <laughs> it's 1 John chapter 5. <laughs> this is the confidence <laughs> that we have in <laughs> him. <laughs> that if we ask according to his go, will go, go, stand, oh, yeah, he okay. hears us we, are we already have the confidence now if I know if I'm confident enough that if I ask anything if I tell him anything if I tell him anything if I tell him anything do you know you are a dangerous person when you are seated? If you understand who you are, you know a lot of people we have potential. But when you use the word potential, it means there is unused strength in you. You know, when, when people refer to you that she has potential, they're just saying there is strength that is unused but in you. What you, you just need see. to do is to stand up. Rise up, child of God. Use the strength that God has given you. Hallelujah. Amen. For the benefit of the kingdom of God. A lot of us we have we are full of strength. 
that is dormant in our lives but I need to rise up I need to use it hallelujah Amen. I told myself that as young as I am I don't need to be identified with just being married to a servant of God but I need people to identify me with something of my own because I have understanding that God has invested in power uh, hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? When you are crazy with the things of God, there is no room for the devil in your life. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. When you are crazy of the things of God, there is no room for the devil. The reason why you are suffering, the reason why you are being tormented, it's because you are too polite and being polite for nothing. Hallelujah. Young girl, young girl. I want to challenge you this if afternoon. You need to be a girl who is crazy. Crazy with the things of God. Crazy in the house of the Lord. The youth of today. Where are you? Children. 
zako. We don't care about your children. We also have children. We also can breastfeed. But when we are in the house of the Lord, breastfeeding is something oh. else. We are here to work. We are here to work. We are here to work. <laughs> I know someone to get angry. Are there grannies in the house? Oh, no, go, go. Are there grannies in the house? Oh, no, go, go. You know, at my church, there is a certain elder when it comes to the things of God. He says, Ah, seniors will be, sit, will be taking a back seat. Are you older than our father? Are you 92? The last the, the night before. So when I was sleeping, I felt something attacking me. So as I wake up, I said, You are a liar. Not with me. I mean, you know, the, the people who were in the other room they came running. They said, Who is it? I thought I was praying for someone. I was praying for myself. I was telling myself, no. You know, if you feel things moving in your body, you are in God. Being a highway of demons. demons. Ah, 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 ah. You don't need the evangelist to pray for you. You don't need to be prayed for. Get angry. Tell yourself no. I told myself that. This is the body of Christ. The Bible says this is the temple of God. There is no room for the temple. In the temple of God. I want those who are sick right now. I want those who are suffering from demons. Who are suffering from evil spirits? Who are being tormented? The devil is making you a wife when you are sick. You don't need anyone to pray for you. You just you, you need yourself. I want those to come forward. 
The devil has no room for you. There is no room in your body. There is no room in your body. I want you to get angry. I want you to get angry. I want you to get angry. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. He is here to deliver you. He's here to set you free. He's here to set you free. You are there when you are sleeping. You dream of you dream whilst eating, eating uh, meat, drinking. Jesus is here. Ah, 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 ah. I want those who are coming. You are not coming to me. You are not coming to the evangelist. But I want you to get angry with you the devil. You don't know what you are suffering. I don't know your problem. I don't know what the devil I is doing in your life. I don't know your spiritual Jesus is here this afternoon. Expect your deliverance. Expect your deliverance.
Wonder we can. 